Wow, what a week we've had. <laughs> I am I feel like so much has happened this past week. I can't even remember what day it is or what. But maybe you can start by describing where we are right now because <clears throat> it absolutely takes the cake. Mm. We're at Anchor in south of France. We're at Anchor, our first night, Anchor out at Anchor on this boat. Maybe so we've gone, maybe one nautical mile <laughs> under motor. By ourselves, without supervision. Yeah, training wheels are off. Yeah, they are off. Um, so we're at an anchorage. Um, we just watched the most beautiful sunset. Uh, it's like that purple, pink, cotton candy color in the sky. There's a few boats around. You could probably hear the music in the background. Somebody's it's got like, time. it's like 80s music um, right up my alley. Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we have a... We have a neighbor. We have another Utremer. Another Utremer, yep. Then Utremer 55, the, who got delivered yesterday. So yeah. the last two Utremer boats being delivered or at anchor mm -hmm. side by side. But we uh, we have so much to cover in this episode, and um, bear with us because uh, we're trying to even remember all the stuff we did <laughs> is mm. a lot. So that's what we're going to cover today. Hello, and welcome to Covert Castaway. I'm Holly. Je suis Stéphane. Join us as we share what we learned and how we're making the transition to live aboard cruising. Okay, so last time we talked, we had just taken handover, and I was so tired I could barely keep my eyes open. Um, and since then, we uh, had guests aboard. Your niece and her friends came, and we did all of the systems training, and we did two days of sailing, um, also with the with a skipper um, for these boats, a trainer. Two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. We sign up for extra. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, wow, where do you want to start? Oh, we, we told ourselves and everybody, don't take on guests. <laughs> <laughs> the first season. Yeah, and the first we, season. I think we took guests the, the, the next day. The next day we got the boat. Yeah, so we don't take <clears throat> our own advice very well. Yeah. But, I mean, they were cool. They, they oh, came yeah. on board and they were, and, you know, they're in their mid-20s, so uh, medical students. So they're actually, they came and hung out on the boat, but they had other things to do. So yeah. um, they had big plans. And um, they participated in our uh, testing yeah. Because they took showers, they yeah, used it was the good water, the bathroom. So figuring out if things worked or what, what so, was, yeah. Yeah, so they tested that the, the port side for us. So that was The black good. water tanks, the water heater. Yeah, yeah. The and and they, they was funny because, you know, told them be careful with the water. And at one point, it was like, did you already take your shower? Like, you can use water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were very, very, they were very, very, very good guests. Yeah, yeah. it, was, it so, was awesome. So we very, did that. Mm -hmm. But then, um, so the training started. Um, mm -hmm. So the first thing that happened was we got the, I think we covered it in the last podcast, we, we got the first um, go around on the electric, electricity. Mm -hmm. And um, part of the plumbing enough to get us through using the black water tanks and the toilets for the weekend. Yeah. Um, and then we spent the weekend basically nesting, 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 and unpacking our bags and trying to, you know, how it is when you move into a new place. You put stuff here, and then you decide you don't want it here. You want it there, and then you put it there, and then you decide to put it back. If you remember where you put it. If you remember where you put it, yeah. And... Um, Stefan organizes very differently than, than I do. Um, I try to put everything away and then I change my mind and like put it somewhere else. And he likes to get everything out and then take a full inventory. And so everything's out. And then he, then he wants to like very methodically put it back. So we have different styles. So that, that was interesting. <laughs> 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 and then you find like goodies because you're like, oh, <clears throat> here is the, the tent for the cockpit. Mm -hmm. So 
you were not planning to put the tent, but suddenly it okay, goes up. Let's, let's put see if it the fits. Tent. Yeah. yeah, and then you're like looking at it, and then you and find screens and yeah, the screens for all the windows, and we're like, oh, okay, it's sunny, it's hot, so let's try that, and so you go like from. Pro- project to another yeah it's definitely you have randomly. ADD on, on projects because you, you kind of stop in the middle of one thing and go to another thing so we made a big trip to Ikea um, and since then we've made more big trips to Ikea you wanted boxes <laughs> Yeah. To organize your stuff. Yeah, I need it. Well, because I, hmm. I, I, we've been living out of suitcases for months and months and months. Mm-hmm. And so I just wanted like... Boxes. <laughs> well, well, because there's no drawers on this boat. So, Oh, that's yeah. true. Oh, no. There's that... no dresser. Except well, in the kitchen, there is one drawer. Yeah. Just for utensils. Yeah. Like, there's no drawers. So In the bathroom. No? No. There's no drawers on this oh, boat. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh. See, so, I would have never noticed that. <laughs> Which is why I wanted the boxes in the fr- He's like, why do you need boxes? I'm like, I need some place to put my clothes. Anyway, so that got organized. And then Sunday, of course, everything pretty much closes in France. And they force you to take a break during the, God forbid. Um, all the stores are closed, except, you know, maybe the grocery store or whatever. But, um, yes, yeah, so we did more of that. And, um, yeah, then Monday started. And um, what happened on Monday? It was a sailing day. That's right. Full day. And the girls came with us mm-hmm. as passengers. Mm-hmm. They fully enjoyed their, their day, so that was fun. Well, two of them got sick, so... The uh, beginning of seasick, yeah, as we were getting yeah. out. But uh, I think they did fine afterwards. And um, yeah, and ourselves, we just started... Uh, you bust me around. You were at the helm and... It's like, do this, do that. Man, at the end of the day, I was like wiped. <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised how much I actually knew? No, no, no. I know oh. you know stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's cool kind of being on your... Like, I, I got to say that first day, I felt really disoriented because it was our own boat and we had learned on different boats. And so you're getting used to where everything is and, you know, how to set up the lines properly on the, you know, different ways to do it. And... um we we put all the sails up, I think, that day on Monday, except for the spinnaker. I think the spinnaker was the next day. Maybe, yeah. And um, and take some reefs. Mm-hmm. And then uh, yeah. some do- docking we did? Or maybe yeah, we did some docking. Following. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of a busy day. Yeah, and then Tuesday we did sort of a redo of that. Yeah, you were like, "Oh, that was fun. Let's do it again." Well, it's Mark, al- are you available? It's always helpful to have someone who knows these boats really well, and then you know help us kind of get used to it. So yeah, I mean, there is nothing like repetition. So, mm-hmm. so that's that was very good. Especially the following days were pretty light air, so that was good. Two days to go out. Yeah, but the boat was performing really well. Yeah, I mean, we were going. We were going upwind Mm -hmm. with the code 65, and it was like 10 knots of wind, and we were going 9 knots or something like that. We were upwind. We were moving. Yeah. Yeah. We were sailing pretty. Yeah, this this code 65, I mean, of course, we have a Genoa to go uh, upwind and stay sail if it's very windy, but it has a pretty wide range. Mm -hmm. And um, like in flat water, we were just like, we were moving. <laughs> yeah. It's suddenly like, it's really fun to watch at the speedo. I mean, the boat is super comfortable, but when you realize like you're maintaining some high averages, you're like, oh my goodness, we can, we can leave like mid morning, just like do those averages and mid afternoon, you can be like far away at an anchorage where you, you know, so it gives you like a lot of sub options. Which yeah. Is and we didn't even real like, you know, we're kind of moving and we're like, oh, this is nice. And then we, we took the sail down because we were going to put the spinnaker up mm. and we realized, oh, there's actually no wind, you mm. know, and, um, it was nothing. And then suddenly we put that one up and we were moving again. Yeah. So it was pretty nice. Definitely really nice sailing. So that was Tuesday, and then Wednesday, we got the um, all the electronics. Mm-hmm. Um, Tomas came on the on the boat, and um, oh my goodness! So the B and G system, the C zone, the all of the everything, all anything electronic on this boat, pretty much. Yeah, autopilots too. 
Yeah. So there's a boat right there. It's yeah. going to anchor. Uh, it's, it looks like he's passing by. Yeah, he's kind of close. Looking for a spot. Yeah. Um, okay, so then, so then that was Thursday, and then we went back out on the water to check that the... Um, because the compass wasn't working and the autopilot had a little glitch. Um, oh, now you're back to Tuesday. Oh, was that Tuesday? Yeah, where it was kind of a little gremlins into the, the system and we uncovered. Um, yeah, there was, uh, well, I think we figured it out afterwards. Um, but you and Mark were like searching through the boat to find like this, the the... The phantom fuse. Yeah, because because <laughs> even if like you look at the chart and you're like, oh yeah, okay, this is where the fuse is and starboard hole in the bathroom, and then you're looking, it's like, oh no, there this those panels are like screwed, so that's not like a technical panel where you can easily access fuse and and then and then you really have to look those, those panels like Mark figured it out and and it's like, so, oh okay, now we have access to those fuse. So what Stefan's describing is. Everything's accessible on this boat really easily, but it the accessibility is hidden really well. Mm -hmm. So, like, in the closet, it just looks like a back of a closet. It doesn't look like anything. Mm -hmm. But if you exactly know where to put your finger, the back panel kind of Velcros off. Mm -hmm. And so then suddenly you see this whole, like, mm -hmm. panel or whatever, or plumbing or whatever it is you're looking for. And so since we haven't really gone through everything yet, even though every single solitary thing is documented in the user's manual for this book, w uniquely to this boat, which is also really cool. Um, yeah, so that's what he means by yeah, it it's was, hidden. It was definitely uh, uh, not obvious to find this this panel. And then, uh, yeah. so yeah, we solved that. And then the other thing, we figured it out and this is what happens. Yeah, they, the guys installed the electronics and everything is well done. And then uh, there was something added afterwards and then it was there was basically a the, there was a kind of not a not a bad contact, but uh, things was um, were wobbly like a little bit, Wiggly, and, then, yeah. and then and then suddenly like it will create connection disconnection. So I think that's probably what happened on Tuesday. Yeah. So that's been fixed, and and so far it's. Good. So then on Thursday, th he also we went out and recalibrated all the stuff and got it all working. Um, yeah, the electronics as, yeah. Uh, at the dock, uh, and then you go uh, on the water. Yeah. To look at, yep. um, at that, so but lots, lots of s electronics. Yeah, lots board. of electronics. <laughs> so hopefully all that yeah. will always work. <laughs> and then Friday, um, I thought it was just going to be a, a quick, simple thing, but it ended up being kind of an all-day thing. So why don't you talk about uh, Ronan coming on and and? Uh, well, that was kind of mostly the the morning, but um, we um, got this computer so that uh, we talked about this that my niece brought back from Romania, and so I had to ship it over there. Then we had to set up that computer, get Octopus installed, the proper. So this drivers. is all for the navigation software. Yes. Yeah. And um, and also getting uh, so we have a pepwave. Um, so connecting everything to the PepWave so we don't have the uh, Starlink Wi-Fi and then we don't have another wi like multiple Wi-Fi so everything except the cell sense we'll talk about this in another time but um, everything goes to the PepWave so now we connect to one Wi-Fi and we get to access everything so that's quite convenient so uh, Ronan worked on that so everything meaning what? Hmm? what does it connect to? To the PepWeb, to the uh, router. Right, but yeah. what connects to it? Uh, Starlink, um, the computer, uh, and oh, the NMEA. Like uh, there's probably yeah, there is. I think yeah, it's no, that's a USB. I forget. You're putting me on the spot. With like, there's so many cables behind yeah, the but station. Yeah, the point is, everything yeah. that operates the boat connects to this bus oh, that goes to the router. And there is a multiplexer, which basically you have all the enemy information coming to this, and then we connect that to the computer, and then the computer with the software now sees all the enemy information. Also sees the um, C dot AI, uh, which is also previously known as Oscar, which is our little camera at the top. So now we have almost everything. We're missing the radar uh, integrated, uh, but we almost have everything integrated into Octopus. 
So when all of this information comes to the Adrena software or the Octopus software, mm-hmm. the navigation software, it's able to follow the boat as it sails. So it learns your polars. Mm-hmm. And um, in addition to helping you do route planning and everything else awesome, um, it learns over time and helps you determine how to maximize. Um, yeah, it keeps recording your speed uh, for those different wind angles and wind speed. And uh, and then you can look at those and be, uh, you know, yes, I want to take this data or not. Um, and uh, yeah, now you have polars that helps you to for your routing afterwards uh, to have more accurate routing so yeah no it's super excited about this especially we have this wide uh, ultra wide screen monitor Mm -hmm. so plenty of real estate and um, so that'll be really nice and and the otome other way they are set up um, yeah well this guy's coming in really fast and really close and really close like yeah we forgot about the joy of uh Uh, wow I mean, why so close? Seriously. And he has a keel. And we have the chain. Oh, my gosh. It's just so lame. Oh, okay. my God. So this is a flashback. Oh, from my the God. I forgot life. all about this stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Luckily, there is no wind, so chain is down. And But, um, yeah, this guy, I mean, he, I don't know. He crossed So like, close. In the dark, he crossed like what? Well, not only that, we have the... Um, the bridle, yeah, yeah, the bridle sticking out. Anyway, yeah, here we and we're back. <laughs> um, <laughs> does this flash? But like, we're doing it now, yeah. right? Like, and no. another boat is passing behind us. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> anyway, this is part of we the have our lifestyle. anchor light on, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I checked with somebody; it works. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah. So what were we talking about? Oh yeah, <laughs> everything comes to the Adrena software, yeah. so we so it basically learns our boat. And now, we s- instead of working on the laptop, uh, it's really nice to be at the nav station because you have this really office chair um, and you have this big screen. So when we are connected under Wi-Fi, uh, you can do work. Yeah. And, um, so it's uh, yeah. I think we're going to spend a lot of time in this chair. And not only during navigation, but preparing for navigation and at anchor for, you know, doing work or social media or stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So super excited about that. Yes. Yeah. So that was Friday. So that was until four o'clock, to be clear. So that was nine to four. Yeah. No, we we were chit-chatting about different things. We invited him for lunch. I know. But anyway, so that's my idea of all day. Um, So then then on yesterday... um, we had a chance to also look at all of the spare parts, all of the toolkits, everything. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot to organize there. So we have like boxes and everything, you know, all laying around and stuff. And today we went to get the, um, we got the water. Well, this was yesterday. Um, but today we were trying to find the connection points to the water filter for the shore water connect connection. Um, to the filter system. Yeah, you wanted the calcium, anti-calcium? I don't well, I don't know. like the calcium in the water in the boat because it gets built up and <clears throat> it also makes everything have really have white spots, which is just mm. nasty. Oh, we, we bought your favorite toy. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> your pressure washer. Oh, the pressure washer, yeah. I love the pressure washer. I can't wait to use it, actually. So. Yeah. So, so anyway, yeah, we'll have a carbon filter with a five acron filter, and then we went to Lower Maryland to the gardening section. So that was a pretty good price instead of uh, buying this at the mm-hmm. channelry. So yeah, we'll wash the boat and we'll have a clean boat without any calcium stain on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yeah, and so uh, we decided at about 6 o'clock today that we would um, come out and sit at anchor and bob around. And um, so it was leaving the pontoon dock uh, by ourselves for the first time, which is just, it's just stressful for me, um, leaving the dock. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> It's just, it's really close quarters. The boat kind of, you know, you're getting used to how it responds, which is, it responds great. Um, yeah. It's just my brain and the boat need to be connected. 
um, if I'm at the helm a little bit better. And um, no, but you did good. Yeah, no, it's yeah. Uh, you, there was not much wind, and we just um, with two people. You can well, obviously. And to tell me how they do it by themselves with one person. Yeah, but uh, it's really not a two-person job. It's you know, like mean, a three-person job. No, two. I think you mm. just sequentially do things, and and so that that was that was good. And of course, like you come out, and then there are other boats coming, and so you have to be patient and mm-hmm. pick, pick your time when you when you go. But uh, no, that was that was good, and it's just a question of repeating. Yeah. And, and the steps. Well, and the idea is not to be in marinas. So, yeah, but we'll we'll also have to come. <laughs> I know, I know. And, uh, but pick your time when there's not much wind, when there's not much yeah. traffic, if you can pick your time. But yeah, so that's what's going on with us. Um, we are excited to be out of the marina, and um, next week um, they're going to do a little bit more. A couple things. There's still Monday, Tuesday. A couple things on the boat to get done. Um, the um, Hydro? Hydro generator. Yeah, the mm. wa- the Wattensy needs to be set up um, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, and then we're off. And then we're going to leave for yeah. a while before we come back. I think we'll, we'll, we'll leave and we'll probably stay close. Um, the reason is, you know, we have uh, some time to shake the boat down. But uh, we also know that um, we're waiting for our... Um, Amazon packages. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, we need to stop ordering Amazon packages. No, well, the uh, the EPIRB. The, I'm the looking EPIRB. For, I'm looking yeah. for the other word, not EPIRB, but the uh, emergency, yeah. emergency beacon, whatever. The MMSI and yeah. um, number. The other thing that happened is poor stuff on like pumped up the stand up paddleboard. And it had oh, a hole bummer. In it. Yeah. And so that was a bummer. And then we took it back and. Um, you know, they're, they're all gone because it's the end of the season, of course. So. It's it's like mid-August and they're like, oh, yeah, we don't have uh, this model anymore. And <laughs> like, well, in another store? Like, no. In a warehouse anywhere in France or yeah. Europe? She's like, no, we, we haven't had anywhere. those since beginning of August. So, so yeah. So got, that was We got our money back and now we are by we ordered a new one. Yeah, from and the reason else. the reason the stand-up paddle board is important is because you use it to med more. Um Oh, yeah, she gave me attitude. Who? <laughs> the person. Oh, the lady. Because <laughs> I said, oh, there is a hole. It's brand new. It's like, about a couple months ago, it just moved in. And she's like, oh, so you inflated at 15 PSI and you left it in the sun? And I looked at her, I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I, not I what happened. I inflated to 15, P, 15 PSI. Oh, yeah, she asked me, like, do you have a pump with a gauge? And I'm like, yeah. And it's like I put it on the davits under the solar panels. I went to get something to attach it. And it went. And by the time it, it came back. It just was like sad. And then she changed attitude a little bit. But that was like, what's up with yeah. you, lady? Well, you know, yeah. whatever. Bad day. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, so we have a new stand-up paddleboard coming on the way, which which will be good. And that um, that will help cost, us with the meds. It's, it's like three times double the, the money. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Anyway, so that's what's going on with us, and um, we're excited, like I said, to be on the water and get going, and um, thank you so much for joining our journey and sticking with us this whole time. Um, You know, it's been something to kind of wait for the boat and make all these decisions again and kind of do deja vu with boat buying, but here we are. We're finally getting to start the journey, so it's Mm -hmm. an exciting time. Big step back over these past year and a half to kind of make many steps forward yeah so. for sure and um we have been posting videos on our youtube channel um we'll see how long that lasts mm-hmm. <laughs> um, i'd like to keep doing it it's just a lot of work um and you know so check those out if if you want the last one was about um the test sale and putting our sales up and then i've got another one coming on the handover so um that- yeah and if you don't like the sales and the color let us know <laughs> because I'm wondering like does everybody everybody so far say oh I love the sails and the color and the lines of the boat and everything and I'm like there must be some people who just hate the 
color or something. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Just They're refraining themselves. Maybe, anyway, if you're know. the one person who hates the color or yeah, hates the logo. Yeah, we want to hear logo, that too. Yeah, yeah, let us know. So shoot us <laughs> A little an, bit of hate. <laughs> no, shoot us an email or, um, or feel free to share our uh, podcast with other people you know. Um, and uh, our email is sailingowen at gmail.com. Fair wins for now. Bon bon. <laughs>